Good day everyone, my name is Kathy Kate Afton Matabo. I check in here with you today of Negros Oriental State University, Main Campus 1. In our today's return demonstration, it will be our last procedure at the um, Rectal Suppository Administration, another form of education administration. So the purposes of this is to provide um, comfort to clients that are not comfortable with the also used to induce medication to relieve pain and local medication and also um, it treats fever and also it uh, increases prescribing for those patients with constipation. So we have here our equipment and our bedside. So inside this tray or our medication, the lubricant, and we have also our tissue, we have our disposable gloves. We have here our manila paper as a substitute of our dry sheet. We have our alcohol to wash our hands, our um, kidney basin, and our improvised uh, prototype model of our rectum where we will uh, administer our medication. So to begin, first is we will review the client's name, the drug name, the dose, the route of the medication that will be administered. This is to assure that we are giving the right medication to the right client. So we have this in our um, patient's record. We have here the doctor's order of the medication. We have here the name of our client. So, uh, since our client is experiencing some ache due to constipation, so the doctor also physician ordered a dulcolax 10 mg, um, one per spoon stack. So, we'll be giving it um, now, we will be giving it uh, immediately. So, next is we will uh, see the medical records of our client if our client has experienced any because this shows uh, this might be an contraindication as we administer our um, drug. Here, so according to our client's record, uh, he has no uh, any present or previous uh, rectal bleeding in her um, condition. So next, after that, is we will now be uh, washing our hands and donating our first set of gloves. So now we are done doing our first set of um, our gloves. So we can now begin putting our um, dry sheet. This is to prevent uh, the soiling of our client's bedding if our client wants to uh, or our client uh, soiled the bedding to the recipe. So we will now administer our bedding. Good morning, ma'am. So my name is Nurse uh, a medication that will be involved in the lower part of our body with the So before we commonly start our procedure, let me first to take a put uh, a dry sheet under your Botox to protect um, your bed and this new for some condition. Now we are um, done uh, putting here our uh, dry sheet. So to begin our procedure, we, we will now identify our client. So now we are giving the right medication to the right person. Okay, hey, ma'am, to start the new one. Okay, so can you state your name? Okay, so can you state your date of birth? 
So we are done uh, identifying our client. So next is we will be um, explaining the procedure to our client. And we must be specific uh, to know if our client um, wants to do self-administration or willing to learn um, self-administration. Say good day again, ma'am. So uh, today, we will be doing this procedure for your constipation since we are ordered by your physician since we are drinking stomach ache this year. Uh, the uh, shows uh, constipation signs. So now uh, we will be putting um, a medication in your rectum. So um, we will make sure that this procedure will be uh, on uh, respecting the rights of the person. So we will provide you privacy and do um, this procedure uh, properly without contaminating any of the medication that we will insert into your rectum. So we will be inserting the collapse. So that will be the medication that the doctor administered to you in your situation. So is it okay? Yes. So um, we, I will show you the procedure or you will be involved in our procedure of course. So I will be assisting in um, inserting the medication. And however, after that, are you willing to learn to know about self-administration of our um, rectal suppository drugs? Yes. Okay, thank you very much for talking. So now, um, we are done explaining the procedure to our client. So next is we will um, prepare our uh, uh, supplies here arranged in the bedside. So we can now open our tray. medication ticket so to know that we are giving the right medication. Okay, we'll collect 10 milligrams. So it is in that order. So we will put it beside our medication. So next is we will provide privacy to reduce the anxiety of our client. So we are now um, uh, the curtains are closed and we have here a window that is closed. Also our uh, door. So with that, uh, we can now position our um, client in a same position and uh, drape our client while the uh, anus is the only part that is exposed. So now ma'am, so I will position you in the same position. So uh, can you do a slight uh, line position first? Okay. So bend your knees. Very comfortable, ma'am. So we have here our sense position to have the proper access and um, our medication administration. So we can now be our client. Exposing only um, the both of Our uh, model here. Okay. So we have now there uh, our model of our rectum. So next is we will be um, inspecting the external structure of the client's. Um, uh, outer uh, of the rectum and then you will also inspect the insides of our client. So uh, first is we will be lubricating our hand so that it will not be painful as we uh, inspect this to our head. So our index finger So, we will now be inspecting the, our clients. Um, so, ma'am, now I will be examining your 
External structure so far, there are no um, as friendly here in this area. So now we will um, warn our client that we or notify our client that we will now be entering the product room. So now, uh, ma'am, I will now begin the inspection here in our uh, in our panel in a 360 uh, degree turn. We will inspect your tenderness, magnet. Okay, so now I will insert for the mask. Here last. Uh, this is the side of the Okay. So, so after examining our client, we will look for any um, bleeding. Okay, so far there's no bleeding after we um, withdraw our fingers okay so we can now wipe our fingers up, uh, so with tissue or remove it if we um, acquired any material of our comments so now um, we are done examining our um, client uh, so we can change our gloves now turn it inside out So using our non-dominant hand is we will be uh, inserting the uh, medication. So using our non-dominant hand, we can now extract our client's um, Botox. Okay. So we extract. And after that, is we will now insert our suppository to the anal of our client to the finger muscle directly to the rectum. 
the camera okay okay so we are now done administering our um, suppository so we can now discard our gloves client to remain in this position or in a supine position for five minutes. So now ma'am, I will ask you to stay in the position for five minutes. Do you want to stay in this position or do you want to be in a supine position? Okay. So, um, our client preferred in a um, side-lying position. Next, if our suppository uh, contains laxative, so we will assess our client if uh, she um, has the feeling to uh, or have the urge to defecate and if so, we must provide our <coughs> So ma'am, uh, please tell me if you feel uh, have the urge to defecate, okay? So uh, I will give you the bedpan. Okay, so after that is we will again be washing our hands. washing our hands okay, so uh, I will be wearing so after I've washed uh, my hands so we will now be ready to inspect again the box of our client so that we can assure that the suppository properly administered or did not slip from our client's um, photo. Okay, so we will inspect again. So we have here our okay. We have here our handy top. We show you instructions. So far, there are no um, white discharges that may indicate that our suppository slipped from our client's laptop. And our client's laptop does not show any swelling, and it, it is in a good um, condition. And after that, is we will observe um, our client. So now we can um, observe our client for um, side effects from the suppository 30 minutes after administration. So for now, we must um, assist our client in a supine into the Okay. Now, one, I will remove Now, um, 
at your pitong or down. So our client tells in a comfortable position. So um, after that is we will assess our client if she uh, feels um, vomiting or if she um, has nausea. So ma'am, it's been 30 minutes after our administration. So um, what do you feel right now? Do you feel um, nauseous or vomiting? Uh, so far in your um, trauma condition and constipation, do you feel this now? Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, based on our client's response, our um, drug indeed uh, did its therapeutic effect to give relief to our client. So, we are done in administration, in, in administrating our rectal suppository. We can now begin our recording. So now, here in our um, recording and reporting, so we will be um, recording the medication administered in our um, patient's chart. So we will be putting our initials and sign signature in our medication sheet, in our more also in our medication ticket, as to assure that we are done administrating or administering the medication to our client. Also, we will... Um, Put at the time we administered it uh, in what um, uh, shift and also the time. So also we will be uh, recording our client's response about her willingness to do the self-administration, um, her response about her condition after the medication. So if we um, noted any uh, unusual systemic effect from our client as yes, we will notify the her physician um, immediately. So that is all for our rectal suppository administration. So that is one of the medication uh, administration uh, of medication. So thank you very much. This has been Katan Kate at the Butabo and I hope you've enjoyed and learned something about uh, this video and see you again in our next return demonstration. Goodbye.